Hello, welcome to June the 30th. It is a Thursday today. I actually thought today was July 1st for some reason. Uh, today, we are going to... Um, well, earlier today, we actually went to Best Buy to get me a laptop for his, because of his graduation gift and everything. So, um, we got him a laptop. Uh, we paid the guys to um, do initial startups. And today, right now, we're gonna pick them. We're gonna pick it up right now. Do a little bit of shopping just because, because he has like a, a gift card for chapters. Yep. And I have to give him my graduation gift too. So that's good. That's gonna be a fun day. Yay! All right, we're home and everything. We got the laptop and the case. We also got a few some headphones and everything. Oh, he got those before. So. Yeah. And he got some books, like Animal Farm, 1984, and what's that one? I'll give you the sun. What? I'll give you the sun. I'll give you the sun. Yeah. And he got some games. He got, well, I bought him Bravely Second. And we borrowed 999 from James. This yeah. is the second time I've done this, actually. <laughs> Mainly because Fee's going, uh, I'm, well, I'm telling Fee that zero, the Zero Escape skis are actually pretty fun. And I got Zero Time Dilemma actually recently too, so that's gonna be fun. We're gonna actually start getting his laptop ready. Okay. Inside. Yep. Shh. I just realized you didn't clean your desk. Huh? Did you clean your desk? Yeah. How much? What do you mean how much? How? How? <laughs> you know this is gonna be laptop space, right? Yeah. You're gonna need a lot of laptop space. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, here then. <laughs> All right, so this is his laptop. It's a, uh, it's an Acer. He actually got this for. It is originally seven fifty. Yeah. And but he had he had uh, well, Best Buy had a Canada Day discount, and it was two hundred dollars off. So he he got a really good price out of it. Good deal. It's a good deal. And um, they offered a, and the guys there offered a really good uh good startup plan and yeah, such. It was a subscription of some sort. Yeah, it's a, some sort of subscription, and and we are guaranteed for five months. Yeah. Well, we, well, we're going to actually for four years, but mom just said, like, you know what, let's cut it for five months. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, because you gotta get that cash money, like, you gotta, like, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> and this is his laptop case whenever he wants to, like, carry this around for something. Where, do you, where, where are you going to take this around to? Huh? We're going to carry it anyways. I don't know. So, um, another topic I have to bring up is that I just finished Zero Time Dilemma. Dilemma. It just it took me less than 20 hours and it only took me practically three days to go through everything. It was really quick actually. Uh, out of the three, I that, went, that game went by the fastest and it was really easy to go, go through. And there was a time where I got stuck once but I was talking to uh, James who also has the game and um, after that um, everything just got everything just went through smoothly. I beat the game and I have um, I got closure on on the game and it was it was good and everything. It, I, I I enjoyed it, but I will say out of the three, it is my least favorite. So um, I like nine nine nine. I like the sprite work and the concepts, the original concept and. Everything, it was a great start. Virtual Dust Reward, it was basically, it just had everything. And it was, and that shocked me the most. It had the best twists, the plot, and it had my, um, it was my favorite of the three. It had a good plot and everything, so I, I enjoyed that. The puzzles were really hard, though. In Zero Type Dilemma, the, the models really, like, bugged me a lot, because it was, like, it was just, um, it was, a cinematic, it was more cinematic rather than a text-based adventure, uh, like in a uh, visual novel adventure, like the other games, it was more cinematic and such, so you're mostly watching it rather than like reading through it. And the mo a good emphasis is the voice acting and the, um, the model animations, and the model animations are <laughs> are not great. They're not good. good. Like Virtual Reward wasn't great, but um, it was limited, uh, and and it was not the main focus, look. It was not the main focus and everything, so... I'm okay with that, but... Um, Zero Time Dilemma, you need... That's, it is a good... It, it's a strong focus, and it looks really... The, it looks really weird, and, like, it just... 
it just doesn't look good personally, in my opinion. And the puzzles were really easy to do, and I, it got confusing at times. But I got all the like all the answers answers were all the questions were um, answered and such. So I get I, again I have I, I got full closure on the game. So hopefully, well it was fun it was fun and the puzzles were great the puzzles were fun. I, I, all I can say is fun for some reason, but it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Still, so Zero Tunnel was probably my least favorite of the three. And Fee's going to try out 999 soon and see what the hubbub is with the Zero Escape games. Anyways, this is going to be it for today. Um, I actually had to let you guys know that I've rendered every video so far. So all of February, uh, March, what I had nothing in March, April, and May, and the North Vlogs are rendered. And they, I'm gonna upload them after we go to Niagara, after our Niagara Falls trip. We're going to go to Niagara Falls for the weekend. Tomorrow's gonna be Canada Day, Canada Day, every Canada Day, and we're going to um, go to Niagara Falls for a vacation, play ghost stories, explore around, and all that jazz. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in next time.